Just how long do you plan on keeping me here? Candid man, why, all of the anxious questions? Collax. Maybe this will ease your ruffles. Yesterday, I found something truly extraordinary. An island, made entirely out of undercooked beef flavored strawberry pancakes. That makes no sense, dude. Very good. My grandma always told me to never play cards with dolphins on odd number Thursdays. You can't do this. Do you like pizza? Yes. But why are you doing this? I like mayonnaise, squid, and rosemary cockroaches on my pizza. Gross, dude. Gross. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Grandma Candied Man. I know. My uncle already learned the hard way that free apples will never keep a kangaroo in heat from escaping a birthday cake, ever. That's why I only date fish. That's the same reason why my mom used to scream at me for hours, yelling at me to come and smell the raw beef mayo when it's cold. She wanted me to find true unobstructed glory. I am doomed to always know this because, when I was a puny and tiny, but dashing the elderly boy, I was too small to be seen as a legitimate threat by my father, so like any loyal son, out of sheer desperation, I stole a nickel, bought a cheap pear, and then I used the pear to oil myself down from head to toe, then I lathered rancy butter all over my face, rented a cheap puppy, joined the circus and became a true lady. As a lady, a true lady, I quickly and aggressively climbed the ranks of standing, one by nine, until finally, on frozen summer day, I found myself commanding an army of dedicated fish, in futile combat against all peoples. Dude, where is my skateboard? I used your skateboard to take long rides along the lost beach of despair, while collecting tiny ideas, bits of free rubber, and very tiny bottle heads. All grade, my fish army, in their eternal struggle against all. Sadly, your skateboard was eaten by well-meaning Jackal and her illegitimate nephew, Mayu. What is wrong with you? Honestly. I worked for a chicken sandwich once. It was life-changing. You're insane. I never wanted to be a ruthless fish general. You know what? Candied man? I wanted to mass-produce subpar pickled salamanders, solely suited just for specific doggies. That is still my dream job. Okay. Oh. If I was a pickler, yo, 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 pickle for me, yo, 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 a pickle for you, yo, 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 pickle I will be. Please, your honor, may I go home now? Please, Mr. Fish General Pickle Man, your majesty, sir. Jude, yuck. I reek so bad. Stanky. Uh. Chief? Yes. Jones, our worst officer. What did you mess up now? Sergeant Jones said that you wanted to see me right away. Oh yes. You should have come sooner. Sit down. You really screwed up that extremely simple issue with Mr. Miller. I know. I am sorry, I should have taken Mr. Miller more seriously. Yes. Well, sorry ain't going to cut it. No, you're a bad officer, a despicable person, and you have truly terrible instincts. Terrible. I will do better. Ha! That shouldn't be hard. Officer Jones, somehow, you have managed to set the bar so low that, and I mean this honestly, dear, doing absolutely nothing, would have been far superior in every possible way. Since I believe that you are a dangerously stupid officer, I am formally initiating an inquiry into your competency and you are hereby suspended until further notice. I will need your badge and gun, now. Yes, Chief. Well, I did what you told me to. I told the Chief. Jones lied and never even went into the house. Good. So, did they remove her from the case? Yes. In fact, they suspended her, the chief wants to fire her, and now, I am heading up the investigation. Excellent work. Bravo. I'm glad that, I didn't kill you. You are turning out to be a rather useful chap. So, 
What will become of that kid, Alex? Our plans for the candid man, I mean Alex, as you call him, is of no concern to you. Forget that he ever even existed. Move on with your life, and never look back. Not a problem, will do. Good. Well, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Ah. Well, I wish that I could say the same, but, I take no pleasure, in my dark and evil work. None of this makes any sense. Colin is lying, a kid is missing, and nothing is adding up. What am I missing here? Sorry. Call Chip Colin. Hello Lisa. Hello Chip. What do you want? The truth. You lied about me. I at least deserve to find out why. Lisa. I'm sorry. Chip. Answer me. Why did you lie, Chip? Why? Lisa. This is way bigger than this. Just walk away from all of this. Move somewhere better. Trust me, Lisa. Just get as far away from here as possible. Chip. I'm not running away from this like some tiny little scared schoolboy. I want answers. Now, Chip. Stop ducking the question. Answer me, Chip. Why did you lie about me? To protect you. And who, exactly, were you protecting me from? Chip. It's a lot to explain. Look, Lisa, let's meet in person. How is later today at Joe's? Say, seven-ish. Fine. I will see you at Joe's. Goodbye. Bye. Well, that went better than expected. Well done, Agent Miller. I think that we might now have enough evidence to arrest Officer Colin. That may be, but the U.S. Attorney wants to go after that wacky police chief, Chief Rose. Said he would rather make an example out of her. If we arrested Mr. Colin and cannot flip him, we might not end up with Evidence, they'll change roles. Okay team, let's try to get Officer Colin on tape and criminate and Chief Rose during his meeting with Agent Miller tonight. Let's do this. Welcome to Joe's Joe Burger, home of the Joe Burger and Joe Burger Extreme. Hello. Table for two. I'm meeting someone. Excellent. Right this way. Hello, Lisa. Only my friends call me, Lisa. Chip, you may call me Officer Jones, oh? Wait, I guess it's actually just Jones now. Thanks to you. So, you may call me, Jones. Okay. Jones, may I join you? Yes, sit down. Do you recall? When the chief sent us back to Alex's house, for the first time, in the squad car, afterward, you asked me if I found anything in the backyard. Ah uh, yes, I remember. You said that, you didn't find anything. Well, I lied. That's becoming a real nasty habit of yours. I know. Jones, I'm sorry. I just got, really scared. You, scared? What exactly? did you find in that backyard? It's more like, who, or what, found me. What, exactly, is that supposed to mean? That Alex kid, he wasn't lying about, who stole his skateboard. Excuse me? No, he was lying. I encountered them, in that backyard, I even met, their leader. Stop. What the hell, is wrong with you? First, you lie to the chief about me. Now, you're jerking me around with this bullshit. Chip, why? Did I somehow cross you? Are you on the take? Is this part of some scheme? Damn it, Chip, why? It's the truth. Look, if you actually don't believe me, go check out Alex's backyard. 
for yourself, if you absolutely must. Whatever. Stop jerking me around, Chip. It's dangerous, Jones. If you do deck to go to Alex's backyard, please, be careful. Ha. Huh. Be careful, he says, Chip. You know what? I think that you're the one I need to be careful of. I only wanted to protect you. Chip. Your behavior is juvenile, criminal, unethical, sexist, and stupid. If you wanted me to trust you, you probably shouldn't have lied on a police report about me. You can still make this right, Chip. Tell me the truth about what happened. I did tell you the truth. No, you just kept making up shit about space aliens. They are not made up. Bullshit. Jones, I swear, everything I have told you tonight is the truth. Space aliens threatened me. I panicked. Then I acted like a pathetic, spineless coward. I screwed up everything. I'm very sorry. Okay, whatever. It's clear that talking to you was a waste of time. Chip. I want to show you something that I found at the crime scene. I think it might help make all of this stuff make more sense to you. Wait here, just a second. I have to get it from my car. Hello, Officer Chip Collins. Who are you? I'm Special Agent Henry, and that's my partner, Special Agent McIntosh. We're from the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Officer Chip Collins, you're under arrest for corruption, police misconduct, and kidnapping. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you. Do you understand? <laughs>